From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New York Jets. <coughs> in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And incomplete to open things up. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now a second and ten. A run for the first time with Bijan Robinson. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Out of the gun now on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. When you talk about this Jets defense, and they've been very good this year against the pass, currently holding on to a top 10 ranking at number 10. You have to like the way that they played in the first month. They have to be very proud being a top 10 unit against the pass. Their goal, though, in this one, see if they can improve that ranking. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Jesus. Man. Man. Jesus. Falcons will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Now, this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to be that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever and ever, and it tells you've gone somewhere, but you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Hall to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the shotgun, Wilson. Wow. And the Falcons get wow. there for the sack. Will Anderson, wow. he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Will Anderson, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. As his first punt will come from inside his home end zone. Fielded just inside the 30. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19 yard return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Mm. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there. Holding it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Oh, no. away. It's a good one drawing toward the sidelines and this will be out of bounds at the one here the 12 yard line Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive and the first drive three and out second possession Let's see if they can get a little momentum and oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. They may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Here's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. To throw is Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Given nine there on the first down completion. The Jets have two and one now to start the campaign. And they were looking good until last week's loss took them from the ranks of the unbeaten. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting this team to push the 72 Dolphins, but still, you guys had a lot of positives from this first month. If they can bounce back and move to three and one, they'll be pretty well set up for the remainder of the season to follow. You talk about this Falcon defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them at defending the pass number 16 in the league. A lot of teams don't like to talk about it. They're pretty proud of their rankings. But this ranking is going to be put to the test today because they're going up against a top-five passing offense in this one. 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he's brought down. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. That'll result here a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late. Because and this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, my God. Oh. Field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to stop so soundly during the series. Fun, wow. and even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion here, and the struggles through the air continue because somewhere in their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Who's the one with the faggot ass, bro? Who's the one? He'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Oh, he's so damn long. Oh, damn long. Oh. Good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run again here with the Again, again. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're going to look to throw. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. 
I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Robinson going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throw left side. There's London. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Koo knocks this one through the post. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Now Wilson. Touchdown, incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Second and ten. In motion right, that's Wilson. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he comes back with one complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Oh, my God, bro. They hit, but they'll say it's incomplete like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. To throw again is Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Jets. Now Wilson on second down. Oh my god, that was my fault, bro. 
That's my fault. That's my fault. And the Falcons will take over here just shy of the 30. My fault. I'm not fault, man. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And the great coach said football's a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial the ball all the way out there, but it'll be third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. This time they stay on the ground. And uh, get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight. Fourth and two. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. So two quarters down, two remain. Oh, Charles man. and I return after the break. Oh, I don't know. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number oh, four. Inside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Receiver in motion right. On first down, Wilson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Wow. Incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't get in. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. 
Wilson going to change things up here. On first and ten, it's Hall. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and two. Now it's Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Third and two, now Wilson. Complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Wilson will throw again. This pass out wide to Hall. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. It's taken a while. Last to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're going down now. Nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and ten, it's Wilson. There's Hall bringing in another one. So nothing doing there, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Again, Wilson. And it's caught. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. This shit is stupid, bro. Shit is stupid. And the Falcons able to muster together a goal line stand. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line. Mm. Oh, that was a snap. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. Second and five. Robinson with another oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Now he gets free up the left sideline. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down on the other side of midfield. And I'm moving on. 15 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A wet track like this, I don't know if it helps anybody, but it probably helps the offensive player running the ball more than the defense. 
and while they're doing that, there's also the matter of focus. Not letting the elements get in the way of still doing everything you're supposed to do. Although you do think to yourself, I've got to hold it a little bit tighter and be more careful with my footing. He was careful, got a big run out of it. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. On play action, they'll throw. That's brought oh, downfield by oh, London. Oh, He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. to throw here steps away to his left nothing open downfield so he'll throw it away it sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone but this defense gets two more stops they can keep them out of that area a good action to this point in the third quarter just a three point game second and ten Back to the ground with Robinson. Oh, no, 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 no. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 for the 21. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Hand off to Robinson out of the shot. Oh He's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Robinson. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. But keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he's going to use his legs here. And he stopped immediately there. Come on, no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up the third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Oh my god, bro. Oh. B. John Robinson. 
His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Falcons go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one yard line. I don't even know what the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Extra point by Koo up and good. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now Wilson on first down. This time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. On second down, here's Wilson. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. On third and one, Wilson. Look at this shit, bro. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Wilson. Oh, back in the two. And they were going to be off target and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Throwing again here, Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. two minutes left to play in this football game here on ea sports so it's jets football as we get you reset here here comes second down at five now wilson he gets it underneath to hall and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Wilson to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Oh my God, bro! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Look at wide open. Oh, wide open, bro. And he takes this one back into the end zone of the Falcon defense. Oh, even though I'm not winning the ball. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Yeah, have to go problem. for it. Bottom line, though, is stupid, defenders it's know that as well. Action. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense called, it would make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. That's That's Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Here's Wilson to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Wilson. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break.